What's up, everybody? Welcome to the latest episode of Games Up Podcast. My name is Cameron McCulloch Keeble, and I am joined in the same one room by the one and only Lewis Crawford. It is a nice room. It is a good room. I agree. It's a good room. And the other one and only, Mr. Lawrence Titley. I'm the two and only. You're the two and only? Yep. Surely, how can you be two of something and only two? It oh, doesn't matter, really. You're not supposed to think about it. Mm. How are you? I'm well. Good. To give you a peek behind the curtain, fine ladies and gentlemen, we're recording this in the past... Uh, because Ooh. these two bastards here are being studious and off at university. And Weird things. time Well, you noises. say studious. So oh. You're off at university. That's close enough. I'm <laughs> at university. That's, that's, <laughs> I'm yeah. there. In the vicinity of learning. <laughs> so, uh, because we're doing this in the past, we can't do the news. But what we can do is predict all the news for 2016. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, we each have three predictions, I believe. Indeed. Yes. Yeah, yep. I might have forgotten them, but cool. I do have them. <laughs> uh, we each have three predictions. They are stories that we think are going to take, big stories that we think are going to take place across 2016. They may be, you know, safe. They may be absurd, but that's the thing. And what we're going to do is in a year's time, when we're in this situation again, we're going to come back. We're going to listen to this episode in a year's time, see what we got right or wrong, and the winner will get some kind of meaningless prize. For their psychic <laughs> Best oracle. <laughs> <laughs> Best professor. So let's go uh, and let's go and predict some news. Uh, anybody want to go first? I'll, I'll go first. You'll go first? I went and, 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 and wrote some things up. I wrote all I this down for something. Right then. Yes. Prophesize to me, good sir. My first prophecy. Thus saith Lawrence. <laughs> uh, the uh, total warhammer. Yep. Total war. Warhammer. I don't know how that's supposed to be said. Total War. Just total total I think it's like mallet. It's Warhammer <laughs> Total War. Warhammer, Warhammer Total, total War. 40, no, not forty k. Not forty k. It's not forty k. Warhammer Total Warhammer thirty k. Yeah, sure. Good. Excellent. Forty k BC. Whatever. Um, it will when it will be released. It will be ambitious. Okay. And bug riddled. As, <laughs> as Rome Total, as as um, Rome Total War Two was. So when you say bug riddled, are we talking Arkham we're Knights? Talking and the Breakers. Okay, so we're puddling. talking. <laughs> <laughs> so <we're> the Riddler <laughs> will be. <there. laughs> I have riddled this game. It's only one for the outtake show. Uh, so we're talking Arkham Knight, Sim City levels of. Of, of game breaking. Of game breaking. It's okay. gonna it's gonna have to be like there'll be patches later to So fix this it. will be the Halo Master Chief collection of its year. I it? would say so. Okay. Um, that creative, wouldn't surprise me. Creative assembly has demonstrated so far that they They're really good at it. They're really good at taking <laughs> really big upcoming fr- um things and completely fing them up. Okay. Big upcoming uh, total war developments. Okay. Seems like a good prediction. Mm-hmm. Any follow up? Uh, yeah, I think it probably will be. Okay. I think <laughs> this is the thing: is that the last, well, for a good a long time actually, they've been making these games, and they are bug riddled. Um, I got Rome Total War Two. Mm-hmm. Um, Regretted it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, there were lots of things about it that I didn't like, but from from the point of view that you're talking about, it didn't play well in general. <laughs> it just didn't play well. And it's a shame because they come, they're basically living on a legacy, as it were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They pretty much peaked at Rome Total War and then maybe Medieval Total War. Right. And then since then, they've kind of just been making more Total living War. off those. Yeah, and making more Total Wars that are kind of good, but not really that good. So my question to you is, who's the developer of this? Creative Assembly. Creative Assembly. Is so my question to you is, uh, Total War Warhammer Warhammer Hammer 40k <laughs> uh, comes out and it's bug ridden and fucked. What about Creative Assembly's other projects? Halo Wars 2. That's a more interesting question. Which do you think will be the more fucked? Because Halo does not have a good good track record. No. And Halo Wars... I don't know if they have to work with anyone. I mean, they're, they're working with two different... Um, oh, they're, oh, they're working with two different IPs here. Mm-hmm. But presumably if they're working entirely off their own copy books, then there's going to not be any interfacing problems. Okay. I think, for me, Halo Wars, and maybe Halo Wars 2, we'll see, played it safe. Okay. It wasn't pushing any boundaries in terms of, like, uh, mechanics. Yeah. Um, obviously, they tried to in Total War, and that's why part of the problems start. 
Halo Wars was a very safe game. Yeah, yeah. It was very, um, you know, here's the mechanics we've got, and we're gonna, we're gonna, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's a, it can be a very good thing mm-hmm. for it. Is that they took those mechanics and were able to just focus on those and just make those work. Yeah. And they didn't really bring anything new to the table, but they made it kind of different because it was in that universe of Halo. Now, if they do that again in Halo Wars 2, it probably won't be bug riddled. Okay, so we're saying because Total War, Warhammer, Hammer 40 War case pushes the boundaries, Not it's 40. going to be the riddled of bugs. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm inclined to say that the Halo... That, that Halo Total War is going to Halo Total War Warhammer 40 Halo Total War Total That's not announced Halo Total War <laughs> um, is Exclusive Halo Total it's a Wars bit, 2 It's a bit of a um, Up in the air uh, Up in the air way to put it mm-hmm. But I have only ever I mean something like 40 Something like 40k mm-hmm. Not pre, oh, that's not thing. 40k Not 40k That's why not. it's important If <laughs> If it's not 40k then they just have to use their. Then they they have a hell of a lot. Basically, when they make games that are strictly uh, that are mostly melee, uh, total wars, mm-hmm. they fuck them up far less <laughs> simply because the mechanics are less diverse. Right. Okay. Uh, there's not many ways. This to... this one will be mostly melee. Mm-hmm. Um. So. I I don't know if I'm the, the only one that knows about it, but the, you, you pretty uh, much are the total the total war one. So. Total War Hammer for water, 40k. Yeah, yes. see, the thing is that it's not 40k. <laughs> this is the thing. I don't <laughs> know if you know what 40k saying. means. No idea. Yes, I do. So, 40k is their... Is it Halo? No. no. <laughs> 40k is their futury um, Space Marines, which I really wanted it to be. When they announced it, I was oh, really excited. Space Marines? Yeah. Halo? Space Marines, Halo, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> that was their, kind of like, that's their Space Marines, their Chaos, their Tyranids, monsters, all this kind of thing. Um, Space elves, they're really not elves. Their their normal one is their fantasy series, which is what this this game's going to be. So it's more elvedar. It's still got the elements of like, uh, well, it's still magic and whatnot, but it's still got elements of that. But it is a fantasy game, not a not like space aliens and all this kind of thing. Which is the it's interesting because that's that's their the genre I guess they're most uh, known for at the moment. Because I think people who are interested in Warhammer in general will love this game yeah but most people game wise are into the 40k series okay I mean, either way your prediction is <laughs> warhammer <laughs> total warhammer halo 40k wars I, 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 i'm inclined to say that halo uh halo total war will fuck up more than warhammer interesting there we go so halo wars 2 and warhammer total war will both come out and be entirely broken yeah halo more so than warhammer yes there we go Lewis, hello. Do you have a prediction for us? Yes, and it's an interesting one. Maybe. Good. Maybe. Hopefully, it's interesting. Hopefully, it's interesting to you. So, <laughs> Nintendo has a new console coming out. They do. Um, the NX. The I NX is its code name. Now, we don't really know too much about it at the moment, and I don't know whether we'll be knowing more details, or whether it will actually be like announced and it will be coming out, because those two events are pretty essential but the thing is nintendo does everything slowly nintendo does you know if it, if something's coming out um in 10 years they'll announce it now <laughs> um they dilly dally well you've got to look at like uh, it, it, it's troublesome because it's what they do with like most of their games i'm trying to think of, there's a really good example but i can't think of it at the moment like mario kart mario kart was announced like three zelda. years zelda yeah they always tend to... Actually, Zelda's okay. Zelda's... Eh. Bullshit it is. They announced that thing at the beginning of the Wii U generation. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, they they have a habit of announcing something, and then it's like another six years before we actually hear of it again. Yeah. And... The big stuff, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder whether us hearing about the NX means it's going to be soon, or whether it's not even, like, planned yet. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, like, they've, they've done this pattern, but the pattern that they've done doesn't necessarily... Uh, mean that they have that but it could just be here's a list of things we want to put yeah. under our thing yeah very true and then we can use them later on um but i i think it's going to be a bit of a flop when it does eventually come out so you're suggesting it's up in your prediction is it's up in the air whether we hear about nintendo this year mm. but if it does come out it's going to be a flop i think 
they haven't got enough going for them unless they make like a major change. Like if this is, you know, we're going to enter the same kind of realm as, because I think it's going to be handheld again. They seem to be kind of, I don't know, the, the stuff that I read seems to be going more handheld unless they're doing something else as well. So from the patterns, what we can tell is it seems to be a handheld console yeah. is the controller for a yeah. larger home console as well so it's like a one united ecosystem kind assuming of thing. that they're not separate things because it, it's entirely yeah possible yeah absolutely as, as, assuming that that's the one thing they put out yeah because it could just be that they're doing the nx and then like the nx handheld ds nx yeah 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 um because everything has to be named the same DSSX, thing SSX, NX, NX. 3d <laughs> yeah so my first prediction flies in the face of you sir uh i think we get a reveal at e3 i think it's out this fall i think it's out this autumn it's out this holiday and i think it's Hopeful. a huge success yeah yep i would love to see if somehow both of your predictions turned wrong <laughs> <laughs> how how on Nintendo, earth that could tomorrow be... they announce that they're just shutting down <laughs> yes they have a massive se- they have a massive release and they die <laughs> so um i i think that uh nintendo has been a lot of patterns have come out for this uh, and they've been coming out for a few years now. Um, they've not been coming out quite as, as strongly and as obviously as they are at the minute, at the time of recording. Um, but they are, they've are they been leaking slowly. Yeah. Um, I think the system itself, if it is all of these patterns combined, sounds fascinating. Whether it will work as well as it's supposedly stated in these in these things is another 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 kettle of fish altogether but let's remember the last thing they released that didn't really function as well as it was supposed to the wii and that's one of the most successful oh, consoles yeah. of all time so mm-hmm. <clears throat> i'm saying that i think nintendo are going to release this year i don't think it makes any sense to not do it this year because there's not if they don't do it this year what have they got yeah they have Star Fox which has been delayed and delayed and delayed and at this point it's losing its own momentum and they have Zelda which people are at this point expecting to be a cross-generational game yeah mm. um so I think we definitely see the the NX or whatever it's called this year and I think it will be a success because I think Nintendo are beginning to listen I think the fact that Ooh. we've seen them partner with DNA on mobile is it's not what people want yet but i think it's a sign of things to come i think the fact that they are dealing better with direct and clearly dealing better with third parties because of the support they've had for smash brothers you know we've seen cloud from final fantasy 7 yeah. in his final fantasy 7 iteration come into smash brothers that's the first sign mm. of the hd final fantasy stuff we've seen and it's exclusive to nintendo that's a pretty big thing yeah um i'm sorry I, um as a final fantasy 7 nerd i was very are you going to go out and buy a Wii U? I'm not going to play it, but they released like a trailer where it showed all the different things that's like in this thing, in this like uh, edition of Cloud within that game. Yeah, yeah. And there's like different maps and stuff that yeah. they've added and stuff. And the chills. The chills. It's just like, it's like um, very nostalgic. I remember your excitement at E3. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I reckon it comes out. A lot of their big name developers have gone dark. Uh, yeah. Intelligent systems have gone dark. Lots of their top, I think, three of their major top tier AAA games makers have gone dark. So, you, um, so you think they're finally going to have to change their habits of a lifetime and learn I, how to get on with their I party? I think maybe they will. What if the opposites happened and they've gone dark because there's nothing to say? That well, then your prediction comes right and you win whatever the prize is. I will. Excellent. Because um, I, 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 I struggle to imagine Nintendo ever turning around and listening. Yeah. Ever. Well, to be honest, I do I do think... I mean, they're pretty old. I mean, there's no reason it should happen now when it hasn't happened for the last ever 20 years. I think everybody knows that this console is it. Yeah. I think if, if Unless... this console succeeds, Nintendo has a future in this business. And I think if it doesn't, that future quickly goes grey and quickly goes away. I, I think... don't think it's a killer. I mean... I don't, I don't know. What, what the... happened with the, the big old crash that happened with the wii u wasn't a killer no but they they were running off the success of the wii yeah mm. they were running off the com- the commercial success of the of the wii but lowing on the critical of the wii u and the, uh, of the critical of the wii and the wii u was supposed to target that it was supposed to be a hardcore third-party game system hell when they launched they had exclusive versions of arkham city mass yeah, effect 3 this that the other they had a fucking exclusive from ubisoft 
Although That's a learned, big thing. They learned how to quickly tailor it to, to the crowd that it was appealing to. I don't think they did. I just think that mm. them they being... Tried. I think them being two years off a new generation of consoles, they lost very quickly the relevance to that audience. And I yeah. think them now... If they release a console that is a little more souped up than the Xbox One two years into this generation, they could capture that a is true, new actually. market. That's a fair point. Especially if they were still able to price it competitively. And especially with, like, there's been so much fucking bitching on the internet in the past two years of this generation of, oh, there's no 3D and 1080p and not everything's 60 frames. And if, if Nintendo can come out and be like, hey, we've got, like, half times more the processing yeah. power, everything's going to be that good they might actually capture a hardcore market that they haven't had for years. The thing is, I, I agree, I agree. If they were able to, halfway through this generation, bring out something that is modern then compared to the Xbox and the PlayStation, the problem is is that they no longer have this momentum of people wanting to make games for them. Now, if they change that, if they manage to go, oh, we're going to release, we're going to have uh, exclusive Mass Effect. <laughs> Shudder saying it, but... You know, if they turn around and they can actually make something that is like that and is able to make, you know, they can bring their 10 Mario games to it. <laughs> the Tune 2. You know, all of this. But if they Splatoon. also manage to actually bring, <laughs> you know, good th- other games, because that's their main issue, I think, really, is that people, if you buy a Wii, Wii U, you're looking at maybe... There's good games. And there's they they game. make they make they put a lot of effort in making there's, sure that they all Mario the games Kart are good. There's Mario Kart 8. There's Splatoon. There's Super Smash. Super <laughs> Smash Brothers. Yeah. There's um, arguably Zombie U was pretty cool when it first came out. Yeah, I think the issue though is you're going you're going to look at a handful of games, and then those handful of games of all there is. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know that that's all there's gonna be. Maybe I guess yeah. Splatoon kind of changed that a little bit, but there's still a certain like. Until Zelda comes out, until Mario comes out. In, in, if you imagine you just bought the Wii U when it was new, you're kind of going, oh, well, I've got this Super Mario game. Until Mario Kart comes out and Super Smash Bros. comes out, I've got not really much. Yeah. Because Smash Bros. took like five years to come out as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and that's the thing is that if they haven't announced it now, it's not going to be, uh, you know, new series, new game. Unless they have learned. Unless those developers have gone dark for a reason. Unless we're yeah. seeing these patterns for a reason. And I think, I if, think if, that, if that's what happens, then yeah, okay, I could see them making an actual hit on the market. Yeah. Which, is be, which would be good, actually. It'd be really cool. We need more competitiveness. Mm-hmm. Now, competitiveness is great for industry. Um, one of the problems we have... One of the reasons the Xbox kind of had problems, I think, is because they they weren't really up on the PS3 generation, but they were in terms of technology. Um, in terms of, I don't know, it, it's hard to say. Like they were a lot closer together, the two consoles back mm-hmm. in that generation. Yeah, and I think Microsoft were a bit more um, happy with where they were, mm-hmm. and then they thought they could coast on that. And then the problem now is yeah, that they know yeah, that they can't as yeah, much. Absolutely. And because of that, the PS4 had a bit more of a push. They 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 built themselves an uphill battle at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. This is good because I'm, I'm sure the Xbox Two. One <laughs> one plus uh, seven twenty, yeah, seven twenty <laughs> um, will be phenomenal because it will have that. You know, we we were behind in this generation, but look what we're bringing now. Yeah, it will be the same thing that happened with the PS4, where with the PS3 it was yeah. six hundred dollars. You'll get a second job if you want to buy it, so yeah. on and so forth. And it's the same mistakes that Microsoft made with one, absolutely. And maybe we and Nintendo have like the ultimate one of those, where they've been behind for so long. Yeah, 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 that they come forward. That they can finally, you know, everyone who's still saving up to buy a a, a, a PlayStation PlayStation 3 ends up buying whatever the next... Wii U 2 Wii. Yes. No, it's true. I mean, competitiveness makes the industry... Like, if if one of the big people ducked out, then the PlayStation 5 or, you know, if if Microsoft went, then that would be the same console but with better graphics it wouldn't be anything else also this is this is an add-on to the prediction this is not a part to be scored i bet you any money it's called the game boy <laughs> <laughs> i think that i think it's weird that they killed that brand off i think they're looking back on the brands they've had especially with all the stuff they've been doing with like recognizing their previous consoles i reckon it's going to be called the game boy I think we anyway. call mario you mario party you <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay second predictions should we go? Should we go backwards this time? 
Have you had a prediction? Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Mine yeah. was Nintendo that spawned you all of this. The 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 arse about face of Lewis's. Right. Lawrence, yeah. what's your second prediction? My second prediction. Mm. I, I went from um, most conservative to less conservative. Um, so the so my slightly more. So you've pulled the Lib Dem, as it were. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my second prediction is that uh, Konami is going to. We're going to see a lot of cutbacks. I like how um, you say this is less conservative. As though there's any chance that Konami well, pull it back next year. <laughs> well, yeah. what I, the first thing that I said was that... Oh, well, yeah, the first thing is I made the, that a game would be shit. Now I'm saying that an entire portion of a, of, a, I, of an ancient know, company is going to go down. Yeah. Um, no, I, I expect that... I mean, they've been go edging out of... Um, video games, yeah, for, for a some while time, and mm-hmm. I and I don't think they do it by half measures. I mm-hmm. think they just they're probably going to close down a number of their their video game um, studios and move on to pachinko machines, move on to the other yeah. things that Konami seems mm-hmm. to think it can and survive I, on. I think the fact that this is you know they've recently put out the statement where they've been asking for developers for Metal Gear Solid Six, so they're not doing it in house backs up this prediction a lot because. The, the teams who are currently managing on the servers of Five and doing this, that, and the other might not have anywhere to go when that IP is put in the hands of another studio. And it's, it's a yeah. grim, but it's... A, well, yeah, unless those um, reports from earlier this year are to be believed where they'll just be I mean, the alternative turned into is janitors. If they don't choose to, to scale it down and end up just um, that portion Burning of the wing money. going down mm. itself. And if that's the case, how long before Konami themselves just go down? I don't think they're going to go would, down. They're you know huge. What? I really hope that happens. What, the Konami yep, goes down because that flames. would mean they have to sell off IP. No, that's true. I and, mean, that, uh, and it would be brilliant if Kojima could leave a year before and come back springing Sony's money. The yeah, problem is it's really whether they ever would. No, I don't, no, don't want to wish an entire company to go down. But. No, I, 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 I see where you're going with it there, and I kind of agree. It's like one of the best things about... Um, well, no, still bad. But when THQ went down... Um, actually selling off your IPs is a, is a great thing for the community because it means that we still get hopefully not much yet well but no no you're right I mean it's it means that we saw South Park the Stick of Truth in the end it yeah. means that we saw you know clips from games that were never uh, you know we might see out. we um, saw Darksiders come back on the new gen we saw this yeah. that the yeah and we might see a third Darksiders uh, yeah they've basically openly talked about doing yeah. a third Darksiders and Red Faction has a new home yeah see that's like I I I was like, I can't imagine Konami doing that. No, I imagine Konami I imagine going. Hold on to it. Yeah, to and that's, that's such a shame because it means that this is like locked away. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. it's like no one can do anything with it, and no one's going to. And yep. there are loads of games that are in that state. Mm-hmm. Loads of not games, but loads of series that are in that state. Yeah. Where no one can touch it, and it's it's a damn shame. Yeah, it is. It's a damn shame. Mr. Lewis, what is your second prediction? So, I don't really know. This is the thing. My thing for my predictions tend to be like we're going to have a good game come out or we're going to hear from someone and you always go uh you know the biggest game is coming out this year you know fuck off but i'm not i'm not <laughs> i'm not stealing your 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 prediction um but i think there's a big build up of um we're going to hear something about um not bioshock i'm going to say okay but cuz I don't know whether they're actually are they, do you know about this do you know if they're able to be bioshock so ken levine has a team that can make something. 2K own the rights to Bioshock, yeah. and have actively said that they are, they are, what's the word, going after a new Bioshock game. Yeah. So Ken Levine will release yeah, Cryo Shock. Yeah. See, this <laughs> is the thing. And 2K will le- will release Ben Levine's Bioshock. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess of the two, I don't know which one's going to be better. Yeah. But I think it, it's mostly Ken Levine because I know he's been actively recruiting people. Not they don't say Bioshock because Bioshock. It, 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 haven't they said they're, they're the ones that have said about the System Shock, isn't it? No, no, oh, that's, that's a t- that's a separate team that's doing System Shock Three. Oh, okay, that's All a right. ho- that's a whole other kettle of I, I, shocky I, fish. I know that <laughs> Ken specifically was looking for people to to work on a project that's ish Bioshock. I love the way that you say Ken as though you know him on like a first name yeah. basis. Good old Ken. Ken. I know that Kenny was looking to recruit some people. <laughs> but no, no, there was the whole thing of he, he wanted to recruit, and it seems to be specific for that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't quite remember exactly what the wording was. But no, it was like it was a narrative, single-player focused. Yeah. And I think we will see a sort of... I don't know what it's going to be called. Spiritual successor to... 
Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. Bio system. And I think it'll be announced. <laughs> I think it'll be announced at E3, and it'll be a surprise announcement. It'll be like a, oh, okay. like we're in space. Do you space. think it will be on anyone's stage? Oh, well, that's that's a question. Fucking Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, partnered with Nintendogs. <laughs> um, it, it, what it will be is it will be a floating city. A floating in space city yeah, of races where everyone has gone crazy splicing themselves. But no one will know what it is until the end. <laughs> and it, underwater. It'll be underwater <laughs> floating space city. <laughs> exactly. No one will know what it is until the end. It'll be one of those like... Uh, oh, okay. Like you watch the whole thing and you're like, oh, this looks really good. And then it's like, not Bioshock. <laughs> See, I would say that makes more sense for the 2K Bioshock game. Like, Yeah, I guess because they, they'd have to announce it. Like, like, if it's Ken, Ken Levine, Levine's game. Yeah. Not it's Bioshock, but something game, else that's like Bioshock. Like, that's like a system closer and you get Shuhei Yoshida coming on and say, and now Ken Levine. Yeah. Whereas for 2K's one, you get, here's a new trailer. Bioshock. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that's true. It is true. Um, but I, I do think you're onto something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my second prediction, I'm going to leave my game prediction till the end. Uh, my <laughs> second prediction, I think we're going to see uh, calls for laws regarding the safety of VR. Uh, we've seen the first VR consoles equipment hardware released this year with Samsung Gear and Google Cardboard. Um, but next year it gets hardcore. Google Cardboard's a fucking VR thing. I've used count. it. Um, it's really good. <laughs> uh, but next year we go hardcore with Oculus and HTC and PlayStation VR. Um, and it's going to introduce people to a whole new way of playing games that they haven't had in their house before. And, and they end up putting their, their hand through the television screen. Or well, I, this is I, nice certainly, simulation. I certainly think somebody is going to die. <laughs> I certainly think somebody... I mean, fucking hell. There was a guy who, you know, who died playing it was either dota 2 or something in a chinese internet cafe because just nobody checked if he was okay after two days of playing and that was in public yeah warcraft. was it warcraft yeah World of warcraft okay but like i do think somebody is going to die as a result of being in oculus for too long or something like that cookery um, simulator <laughs> <laughs> with uh, i think i'm eating <laughs> no, it's just like um with real implements or something like this. So you yeah. kind of like, you've got your knife and you're kind of pretending to cook, cut the carrots and then in actuality you take off the goggles and you're just like... <laughs> you've got no fingers. Slicing somebody open. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> um, but I do I do think we'll see the first... Don't try the food. <laughs> I do think we'll see the first cases of, of, of serious um, ban this sick filth kind of stories regarding VR. Yeah. And I think we'll see the first calls for... Yeah, that is true. You know comment on this government so that's mm. my second prediction can you imagine if there were like a um uh what do you call it uh, or grand theft auto done with vr they yeah, already have see, a problem that's the thing. that is too realistic as it is well i mean grand theft auto's got first person on pcs i don't think it'll be long until somebody so in VR. oh yeah but i mean like pcs are the one that you can mod oculus with and stuff oh, okay. so i imagine it won't be long until that happens okay although actually that'd be a pretty sick way for playstation to sell psvr yeah. That'd be really cool. Uh, Lawrence, your third and final chance to gain some points on the board in a year. Nil uh, point. Number I, three. I went for my, for my most um, wild and out there. Uh, I predict that Steam is going to tighten up Greenlight, make it harder to get on, <gasps> on Steam Greenlight, and then introduce yeah, title barriers to entry. Okay. Um, I think they have to do something about <laughs> their growing curation problem. They can't just sit by and do do jack i was um, gonna say this is this is less of like a this would be less of a kind of oh they've 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 done it it would be oh oh they finally did it about sodding time <laughs> yeah no um but I, I do say it's it's out there because it's been a long time that people have been asking for this and, and yeah. it still hasn't happened it's just shovelware yeah yeah absolutely. there's a big problem with that there's a huge problem with skin green like mm-hmm Lewis, your final chance to score some points on the board. Okay, so mine kind of is connected to yours, Cameron, uh, about the VR. Okay. Um, I think... I don't know whether there's a collective interest in it, and it's hard to say because you look at, say, games media, journalism and all this kind of thing, and you've got people who are excited. Games journalism. Who are excited. I I don't know whether that's completely representative. Yes. From my point of view, I'm not very interested in VR or AR, um, really, because 
it's kind of not what I go into gaming for. Right. And I don't think it's what a lot of people go into gaming for. Mm-hmm. Um, wasn't maybe that, I'm wrong. Wasn't that what it was like with the motion controls of the of the Wii to begin with? Yeah, it's a fair argument. It is. It's a it's a fair parallel to draw. Whether it will come out the same is is, yeah. is to be seen. But it is a fair parallel to draw. I mean, it depends kind of what level you're going to it. Like one of the problems I think with AR is that motion controls and um, say the Connect are constantly being pushed, but constantly not really that interested in. Yeah, Pe- they they are constantly trying to push these things, but they're not as many people are actually actively um, using them, using them or wanting them or design developing for them. Now, the Oculus has been quite lucky in that it's had that push because of people being interested and all the devs coming together. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be that good. And I don't. I think collectively most people are not actually that interested in it. Um, maybe I'm wrong. You okay. know, it's, just, it's the so kind of opinion I have of like, I'm not really interested in that kind of thing because I go into gaming for sitting down and at least with, with augmented reality, that's not really mm. going to work. So your prediction is? There's going to be a collective sort of maybe E3, maybe we'll see it then, just a sort of a disinterest. Like it, it, I, I'm not going to say it will flop because okay. it's not necessarily out yet, but I think people will become more and more disinterested in it. It's one of these stories that fades over time. Mm. Like we'll hear less and less about it. So you think we've reached the peak already? Yeah, I think I think you know the 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 time to release it has kind of gone. Mm-hmm. To be honest, because I think when the Oculus was building up it was an amazing thing and you heard about it every day if you were interested in those channels you would hear about the oculus rift and it's it's production every day and you'd yeah, hear yeah, about yeah. look at this cool thing you can do and then that's kind of faded as time goes on we don't hear about it as much or see as much anymore yeah. well vr has always been cyclical i mean this is the only yeah. most recent iteration of the no i, I know what uh, you mean i do agree building up. Mm. um but i think we'll hear less of it just because it's not what i go into gaming for and i don't know i don't think it's what a lot of people go into gaming for yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree. Mm. Um, so where your two final predictions were the last chance to score points on the board? Mine's going to utterly shoot myself in the foot, but I'm <laughs> pretty certain. You're I'm pretty. Ha- I'm not certain. Wall. Yeah, I'm going to nail my colours to the wall here. 2016 is the year we see Half Life Three. Six Ooh. is divisible by three. Yeah. What's that? Six. Si- 2016, two plus zero times one divided by six. <laughs> Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> you managed um, a third. What? I said you managed to get to a third. One over three is <laughs> half is <laughs> Portal Five. The reciprocal. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, I think we're going to see Half Life Three this year. Um, Valve is releasing hardware in in terms of the HTC Vive, yeah. um, and I know there's been a lot of reports recently, especially from newsbreakers like people like Funhouse, uh, that Half Life Three is not ever going to be a thing um i don't know i just i something is making me i think we're gonna definitely see valve release something first um single player because i don't think a multiplayer shooter like team fortress or left for dead makes sense on a vr device i don't think it shows off what the system can do yeah and i think that's a problem it's problematic are, yeah and i think that's something that sony is seeing more with rigs and that's why they're using walking simulators and that kind of thing again to use a terrible term to advertise the vr device so i think we'll see something come from valve in terms of a single player experience and i think the days of seeing new ip from valve are a bit gone um we know that they have a portal experience on the vr Mm. game it's been heavily reported since they announced it and i don't think that sells numbers because people know it's there and they've been able to experience it a consumer consumer electronics shows across the board i think something that will sell no matter what it is 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 half-life yeah that is and true. i think the way it's going to happen is the day the vive comes out steam goes dark the only thing on steam you click on the store <laughs> page and it is the the half-life symbol the three in the middle and an, and an HTC Vive underneath it. Mm. That seems like an unusually evo- it's very involved... Um, um, that, that would involve Steam taking any kind of involvement in the running of... Maybe. Valve taking maybe it's the, 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 the Lambda symbol. The three. It's Lambda symbol, right? For the yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Ah, fuck you, mm. scientist. Uh, the Lambda symbol with a three. An HTC Vive. And then... Exclusive. Vote on Greenlight. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I, I do... I think we will see the next, a ne- the next big single player from Valve. 
I don't think it makes a lot of sense that it's it's anything else that they have in their in their in their um portfolio. Yeah. And I don't see what they could bring to the table that wouldn't be compared to what they have in their portfolio. So I think this is the year that they take the risk. And I think they have been putting if this is true, I would I would say that they've been putting these stories out about Half Life Three not being developed on, being made by a skeleton crew, not existing to downplay the idea mm. that Half Life Three was ever going to come out. Yeah, it's a big one. We'll it's see. a big bit of conjecture, but if it happens, I'll tell you what. I'm taking home that prize. Yeah, I'll give you <laughs> that. I will accept that. Even if even if all of what we say is true, if your one is true, you can have the prize. <laughs> yes. Even if one of yours is true and all of mine are true, versus versus thingy, you can have it. You, Sounds yeah. good. I I would like it as an E3 reveal though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine on like the PlayStation stage? Mm. And now here's Gabe Newell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but oh. then it's just gonna fail. It just be like, here's Portal Three, and everyone's like, oh yeah, really good. Yeah, no, it's not the three we wanted. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing though. Whatever they release now, like Left 4 Dead Three, Team Fortress Three, Portal Three, like they've kind of backed themselves into a corner where they release something and says, oh, and everybody will say, oh, cool. So uh, where's that other one? <laughs> so. I kind of think it's just Well, Gabe like, hates threes. Well, so. every time you say that, he delays the game a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I think at this point they're not known for games. I think Steam is, is very much the main thing they have focused on. But I think it hurts them to have this black mark on their record. Yeah. Half-Life 3 is absolutely a black mark on their record. Um, whether it comes directly from Valve or it's shipped out to another developer and they're publishing, who knows whether it's... You know, I don't think w- they would do that. I don't think they would I, do that. I th- well, they did. They did with. They did with Gearbox back in the day of Half Life One. So oh, yeah, that, that is true. Is true. Um, I I just think that we will see something in the Half Life. In in the Half Life series to launch this vibe to give it real push. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. So that's that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was the latest episode of Games Up podcast. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, you have been you. I have been me. You have been you. Uh, and he has been him. Have I? You have. Oh. And I have been me. Uh, and thank you very much for listening. Come and have a look at our Facebook page. Maybe if you hear this and some of that news has been announced, come and tell us if we got things right. Or maybe tell us your own predictions for 2016 so that you cannot be given a prize because we don't have the funds for genuine prizes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> come and have a look at our Twitter page as well. If you like this, we have a whole bunch of other episodes and reviews and jazz and we've gave out a game of the year and all that kind of crud. You, you can find all our previous episodes. <laughs> you can find all our previous episodes on our YouTube channel, which you should totally like and subscribe. And, sh- and, and, and share. Yeah, and share. Share it to everyone you know. Yes, put it on all your social media. Until next time. (laughs) (laughs) Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. The game's up.